Well, the Obwasi municipality remains a hot spot for the Ashanti region as far as COVID-19 infections are concerned. The Ghana Health Service has also begun mass testing for high-risk groups such as drivers, traders, etc. in Obwasi. Let me say that Obwasi is one area that has a lot of population. So the, the population density is very high. It's one area that, though Anglo Gold Ashanti has um, um, a prominent hospital, but you don't have a treatment facility. So Boise does not have a treatment facility. Then you also see that, I mean, when we went there, though it was a casual survey, one thing which was obvious was that you do not see people wearing face masks. So it tells you clearly that there's a challenge about how they prevent disease in Obwasi. Then they do also do not have a quarantine facility. So if you have a, a community that has such high numbers of persons who are infected, and there's no place for them to kind of um, to hold, then it predisposes you to the high rate of infection that pertains to Obwasi. So I want to put on record that apparently Obwasi is working as a joint community. They have the Obwasi Municipal and Obwasi East. For this outbreak, they are joint. So it's jointed at the level of the assembly, it's jointed at the level of even the health sector. So there's a bit of collaboration in that perspective. They even have um, what they call the COVID-19 um, center. It's actually a control room put in place by Anglo Good Ashanti. So for coordination purposes, they have that facility in place. And you can see that um, from their uh, records, there's a lot of activities that are taking place before uh, the spike. But let me say that I think the, the late release of the results took them by surprise. So they had a clear structured um, system, but were not aware that they have this quantum of disease sitting in that community. So how do they hope to um, address this spike or this magnitude of disease in Obwasim? What they've done is that they've tried to incorporate the uh, um, surrounding um, districts. So they have Adansi South, so Adansi Asqua, and Adansi North. So these are districts that have come to bring their expertise and their numbers to bear on um, Obwasi. For, so for this response, we have a combination of Obwasi, Adansi Asqua, and Adansi North. They are all together to address the, the challenge or the magnitude of the disease. And as I said, because we are breaking Obwasi into two perspectives, the first perspective which is the older one. What we are doing is that we are, we are testing or retesting all of them. Because those are old cases, so they are no more, you cannot classify them as positive cases. So we, all we want to know is that, what is their current status? So we don't need to isolate them. So we're going to retest of them, which have started. And then we're going to carry out enhanced, enhanced contact tracing in very high risk areas. Obwasi has very densely populated communities like Bahababomi, Tutuka, Central Market, Enem, Asamkore, Wawasu, Bumpe, Kunka. So these are highly densely com populated communities that the focus is to see whether we can pick um, some um, positives in that community. Then we are also trying to go to do mass voluntary testing among certain at-risk groups, including taxi drivers and food vendors. So that's by way of trying to address surveillance and contact management in um, Obwasi. Cases here is the main lab that does testing, but they have been under a lot of stress. Until recently, they were testing most, most part of northern Ghana. So you can see that that accounted for the backload, that accounted for we somehow missing this magnitude of um, um, a disease burden. But when we went there, they had um, challenges that they needed extraction kits, which um, DG and the ministry is trying to get it provided. And then if you look at the Ghana's, if you look at Ghana's intervention, we initially started with swabs, but now I've gone on to do um, sputum. So now we have um, a, a bit more of swabs now. So we are going to use swabs in addition to the sputum. Then for case management, as I said, Obwasi has no um, treatment center. So the plan is to have um, a 100 room isolation center. The idea is that they currently now have a 22 bed facility, um, which is actually made up of hotels. And the regional minister has actually identified a 48 room facility, which is hoping to be used as the isolation center. So in that context, they are getting close to using that 100 bedroom bed facility for isolation. Then they want to get a treatment center. 
Currently now they have the Obuasi government hub store, and they, what they want to do is that they want to convert the mail ward into a 14 um, bed treatment center. So that's why they hope to address um, the issue about treatment. And let me say that um, to DG and the uh, minister, they have gotten a facility in Kumase, actually as a one Egiso, that is 100 bed facility actually from NAT, so that can handle isolation um, cases. Then we also have the, um, the region has also um, a facility in TUC that can also take care of the additional um, um, cases of for isolation. So that tries to suffice um, isolation in.